cleave unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, and die, we are the Lord's. For to these men Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. I know that my Redeemer lives and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though this body be destroyed, yet shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and not as a stranger. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor things present nor things to come, nor paths, nor heights, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ our Lord. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, even so, says the Spirit, for the rest from their labors. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed are those who mourn. God would comfort them.
Please sit back. The first Bible reading is taken from Psalm 121, verse 1 to 8. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon my, thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. And thy, by, and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Glory be to God. Amen.
this feedback. Today's reading is from Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will bring God, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And so says the Lord.
Be seated as we pray. Almighty God, who had bound together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, grant, we pray you, to your whole church, in paradise and on earth, your light and your peace. Amen. Grant that all those who have been saved by death and resurrection of Christ may die to sin and rise to newness of life, and through your grace may pass through the gate of her death to your joyful resurrection. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all the days of our life. Grant to your people pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Grant to those who mourn, especially for the family of Abim Bola Ulurotimi, a sure confidence in your fatherly care that casting all their grief on you they may know the consolation of your love. Help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of life everlasting. Grant us grace to entrust Abim Bola Uluru Timi, into your unfailing love, receive him into the arms of your mercy, and remember him according to the favor which you have for your children. Grant that increasing in knowledge and love of you, we may grow from strength to strength in the life of perfect service in your eternal kingdom. Amen.
the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. Thank you, Lord, for the new month. On this day, we say thank you, Lord, for the good things you have deposited in your son, Abimbola, to achieve while on earth. Thank you, Lord, for the wife, children, siblings, and all the family members, and all of us that is present here. Please console them. Stay by them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Another family that are affected, we pray, Lord, that you grant them the fortitude to bear the loss. May their faith in you never wane. Amen. And we pray that the souls of the faithful departed by your mercy rest in peace and rise unto glory. Amen. Good morning to you all. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we welcome you all to Church of Nativity, Parkview. And we pray that as you have come here today, no evil shall befall you. The eyes of the Lord will be upon you. And you will continue to record peace all the time. We thank God for the life and times of Bamofi Abimbola Olurotimi Ogumbanjo OFR. He was born on the 11th, 11th day of July 1962. He was the youngest child born to Chief Christopher and Chief Mrs. Hilda Ogumbanjo, both of blessed memory. Abimbola commenced his professional career in banking as a credit analyst with Chase Merchant Bank, Nigeria, where he served meritoriously. In September 2017, Abimbola was elected the 19th president of the Council of the Nigerian Stock, of Stock Exchange, having served on the council for the prior five years and chairing the Demutualization Advisory Committee and the Governance and Remuneration Committee, respectively. He was a governing council member and the legal advisor of the Nigerian Chamber of Shipping, where he provided pro bono legal advice. He was a director of the Chris Ogumbanjo Foundation, a not-for-profit organization established by his father, and distinct, distinguished Igbobian Olotu Chief Dr. Christopher Oladipo Ogumbanjo. The Chris Ogumbanjo Foundation was set up to promote the achievement of a stable society by analyzing the causes of conflicts and resolution of the same. He was happily married to Titi Ogumbanjo Nekuku and blessed with two children, Ladun and Timi. May the good Lord continue to abide with you. May the Holy Spirit continue to teach you. May the power of resurrection uphold you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, we give glory to God for the life and times of our dear brother, husband, father, and friend, Bamofi Abimbola Olurotimi Ogumbanjo. Though we have come to say goodbye and good night until the resurrection morning, 
We commiserate with the widow, the children, siblings, friends, and every one of us here. We pray that God will strengthen us all. He will remove our tears in the name of Christ. For our meditation this morning, we will look at Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment. This passage is a warning to you and I to make hay while the, that the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ is the only one that can take away the sins of the world. That Jesus is greater than angels, that he is greater than the prophets and priests. This passage made us to know that death is imminent, but it is possible that some of us will not taste death if Christ should come now. The Bible made us to know that there's time for everything. As we can see it in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1. For everything, there's a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. This time we are mourning. This time we are weeping. This time we are sad because our dear brother Adimbola is no more. But the consolation is that we will meet again on the resurrection morning. I hope you believe this. The hell is real and the paradise is real as well. There's time for everything. His time is up. That is why he has gone. But the thing is that let us put our trust in the Lord that he is in a better place. He's no more concerned about paying school fees, traveling here and there. He's no more concerned about that. He's no more concerned about the economic woes of Nigeria and of the world. He has seen his creator and I believe he's with the angels and archangels with the 24 elders worshiping God day and night. And Apostle Paul told the Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 to 14, but we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Our dear brother is asleep. Dear sister, Mrs. Situ Ogumbanjo, do not be afraid. The Holy Spirit will give you the boldness. He will strengthen you. He will uphold you. The burden is now yours alone. The burden of the children he left. And the good Lord will continue to uphold you. Because Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Eru no, loru ko jesu kuni wuwo. Eru ko deni bayi. I want more. I want You will not weep over them, and you will grow old and see their children's children. 
so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. I watched the documentary yesterday and listened on channel television with rapt attention that our dear brother Abin Bola was hard working man, committed, humble, and made a mark in the lives of the people around him. What a legacy. He has done his bit and has left a legacy. The legacy is work hard. Do not be lazy. Use your influence to help others, those that you know and those that you don't know. There's one Yoruba hymn which says, this is the legacy that our dear brother has left for the wife and the children and for every one of us. Look at us in Nigeria. Palliative did not go around. But each and every one of us can look into our environment. Even if it is 1,000 naira that you can give to some people, do that. If you can provide Gary, rice, meat, and whatever, make sure you do that. Because what the friends said yesterday and the brother said yesterday, they said, he's always want to impact lives so this is the legacy and god in his infinite mercies will help us in jesus name no famine in nigeria in the name of jesus christ so work hard do it right this message is not for the dead it is for the living what are you living for what are you living your life for what are you doing to impact lives around you do not be selfish. Use your time, resources, your wisdom to help others. We must follow Jesus Christ because there is no other way to heaven. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14 from verse 1, My sister, the children, every one of us, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? Jesus Christ has gone before us to prepare a place for us. And our brother is in the company of angels and archangels and the 24 elders and those who have gone before us. This is our consolation. And God in his infinite mercy will help us to live a good life while on earth in the name of jesus christ our brother has fought the good fight of faith and a crown of life awaits him we are living in a world of uncertainties crisis here and there and there is insecurity and different types of challenges we must not be afraid jesus christ said this before in john chapter 16 verse 33 i have said these things to you that in me you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation but take heart i have overcome the world you are an overcomer in the name of jesus christ there's hope for nigeria there's hope for our dear sister and the children the family and friends give your life to christ he's the author and finisher of our faith believe in him serve him honor him and make him the center of your life and he will in no wise cast you out the second coming of our lord jesus christ is so imminent crisis here and there war here and there troubles here and there but then don't allow all this to scare you because these are the end times end time signs but instead of allowing it to scare you put your trust Put your confidence, put your faith in the Lord. There's hope for you. There's hope for your children. There's hope for your family members in the name of Jesus Christ. And Revelation chapter 22, 
12 to 15 says, Behold, I am coming soon, bringing my recompense with me to repay each one for what he has done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they may have the right to that tree of life and that they may enter the city by the gates. Outside are the dogs and sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. There's judgment. Whatever we are doing that is not good, is high time we say no to it. The judgment is imminent. And if we are not careful, I pray that none of us will go to hell. All of us are candidates of heaven. But how do you live your life? Live your life to please God. Live your life to help others who are in want. Live your life to make people happy. And I pray for you that the good Lord will continue to be with you and guide and guard you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you are doing, that is not good. People are making, are making money rituals. People are selling their bodies for games. People are doing all sorts. They are cheating. There was a day my wife went to the market. She wanted to buy a wedu. And the seller said, this wedu is also amount. And my wife said, since when has a wedu price gone higher as this? And the woman said, the dollar is high. Do we depend on dollars to produce a way to for God's sake? Hallelujah. God will help us. God will lead us. God will guide and guard us. And our country, Nigeria, will be a better place to stay. We have talked to Bishop Peter Oludipe of Ijebu Diocese and the vicar of Epiphany Church, Erumo, they are waiting for us over there. Safe journey to Ijebu and safe journey back. No evil shall befall you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us remember this family in our prayer, the family of Ubumbanjo. Let us remember the family of Herbert Wigwe in our prayers. They need our prayers. They need our support more than before. I pray that the good Lord will succor every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear sister, The Lord will make you strong. The Lord will make you bold. And everything you lay your hands upon, you will surely prosper. You will continue to enjoy the peace of the Lord. I have this prayer for you and your children and all of us that are here. The Lord is your shepherd you shall not want he makes you lie down in green pastures he leads you beside the still waters he restores your soul he leads you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you will fear no evil for the lord is with you his rod and his staff they comfort you you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. The Lord anoints your head with oil. Your cup overflows. Surely. Goodness and mercy. Shall follow you. All the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. Ekwara Feraku.
untimely death will never be a portion. The peace of the Lord will be upon us all. And I want to thank my brother, Venerable Pope Paula, who has been going here and there for the success of this funeral. We pray that the good Lord will be with you. And for every one of us, cheer up your mind. Cheer up your mind. Cheer up your mind. And remember that one day, it will soon be a turn. But before then, may we see Jesus before death. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. take the hymn, Hush, Blessed are the Dead. We take the first stanza, four, five, six, and seven. First stanza, stanza, four, five, six, seven. says we walk by faith and not by sight and as we start the journey of a new month and even in this circumstance we trust the Lord that he will ever be there for us and by his love nothing will go wrong for us and that this same God will heal our wounds in the name of Jesus without faith in God we take the next thing through the love of God as Savior, all will be well.
The Lord be with you. Let us kneel our seats for prayer. O God of grace and glory, remember before you this day our brother, Abimbola Olurotime. We thank you for giving him to us, his family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console all who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to you our brother, Abimbola Olurotime, who was reborn by water and the Spirit in holy baptism. Grant that his death may recall to us your trial over death and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in your Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way and where you have lived and reigned with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. O Lord, be merciful to all travelers, especially those who have traveled from far and near, places to commiserate with the bereaved, and grant them a safe return. Bless, guide and defend them, protect them from all perils and dangers of the road, prosper them in their cars, and they behold, beholding your mercy, and praising you for your goodness here, they may be more quickened with a desire for the full enjoyment of their privilege as fellow citizens, with the saints in your heavenly household. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Once again, we continue to ask God to comfort all of us on our side. And it is our prayers that His mercy will forever be our portion in the name of Jesus. By the permission of the diocese, I'd like to bring forward the Bobby College Hood Boys. Uh, to come forward for their tribute and the, the next will be the soloist who will also come for the presentation. Please, we have two, three minutes for each of these presentations. Good boys of Igobi College. Please can we have all Igbobians in the house? We shall take the first stanza of our school song. Yes, divine. 
Let hill and build its tidings bear wherever there's a ego bien. There also is a noble night. Say, 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 say. Thank you very much. God bless you. The Lord will continue to stand by each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Yes, we have a solo presentation now. I'm sure the next soloist will be getting ready for that presentation. According to Shelley Shisham, service is the rent we pay for the privilege of living here on earth. So this quote, our dearly beloved father, is not a debtor. At least anyone that comes up here to say something, they will say something positively about him. But the big question is, what will people say about me now that I'm on earth? What would they say about me when I'm no more? What would they say about you now you are alive? And what would they say about you when you are no more? Ponder on these things. If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain. I can help somebody as I pass along. If I can tell somebody with a word or song. If I can show
you can help somebody as you pass along. Then you are living so not be in Thank you very much for that ministration. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Yes, the next soul is blessed. Who taught the sun where to stand in the and who told the ocean you can only come this far? And who showed the moon where to stand till evening? Whose words alone can catch a falling star? Well, I know my routine. Son non tala mio sorri allora in te me calore. Se io so che non c'è luce una stanza quando mai canzone. Se non c'è sei tu con me, con me su le finestre. Mostra i tuoi mio cuore che hai acceso più di dentro me. C'è che hai contratto per strada. Oh, 
Quando so lontana sogni all'orizzonte manca le parole E io solo so che che con me, con me Tu mi alluna tu sei chi con me Dio sole tu sei chi con me, con me, con me Let me very quickly appreciate the diocesan, uh, Lord Bishop, the diocesan of the Diocese of Lagos, uh, the Right Reverend Ifedola Sinasu Gabriel Okupevi. Papa, we want to thank you very much. Please let's celebrate Papa for being here out of his very tight schedule. We understand what this means to you, sir, and for the love that you have shown to this family. We really appreciate you and thank you for the word that the Lord has sent to us through you, sir. The Lord will continue to empower you in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much, sir. And on your behalf, um, my Lord, i like to once again um, thank God for the family of our late brother, especially the wife, Aladdin and Timmy. It's our prayers that God Almighty will continue to stand by you in the name of Jesus. Okay, let me invite my sister, um, Ladun. She's um, coming to give her tribute. And um, I trust God that uh, he'll be able to do that. As she's coming, I recognize the presence of His Excellency, Mr. Ohabiodun, the Governor of uh, Ogun State. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. And then uh, we appreciate your love for this family. We also thank God for a very good friend, Mr. Hyde of our departed brother, the Lord will stand by you in the name of Jesus. Dear Daddy, as I write this, the reality of your absence feels like a surreal nightmare one that I keep hoping to awaken from. In my quiet moments away from the chatters of the outside world, I find myself confused, angry, sad, overwhelmed, and more, in more ways I cannot describe. I keep asking myself why and how did we end up here, just after Papa's burial a month ago. Why is life so unfair? You were such a central part of our lives, guiding us through challenges with the strength and confidence that I've always admired. You were my go-to person whenever I needed someone to help me cross-check my writing. Now, as I read this, who will I go to now to know if these words live up to your expectations? Who will I run to when I need advice on my future goals and career plans? 
Who will I playfully argue with about leaving the AC on in Kyra's room? These little things that I took for granted are now things I wish I savored and cherished. As someone that loved to travel, family vacations will never feel the same. Your love for life and living Your love for life and living to the fullest was something to be admired. You taught me so much, not just through your words, but in the way you lived your life with frugality, discipline, and patience. These lessons have shaped me in more ways than I can count. Since you've been gone, I now realize your morning routines brought a sense of normalcy and peace because we knew what to expect from you. I'll miss watching you sit at the kitchen island, drinking coffee and eating a fruit salad after you release Kyra for a morning stroll. I'll miss watching you conquer laps in the pool with ease. I'll miss seeing you carry that worn out le brown leather bag you take to the office. I'll miss how you used to keep the volume on your phone turned up to the max whenever you watch those goofy skits online. The world seems a little dimmer without you in it, and I often find myself wishing for one more conversation, one more moment with you. Despite this pain, I take comfort in remembering the impact you've had on our lives. Your legacy isn't just in what you achieved professionally, but in countless memories and strength you've instilled in our family. I miss you deeply, Daddy. You meant so much to us all, and I pray on the Almighty God and Holy Spirit keeps you safe and at peace. Love, Adola. Thank you very much, uh, dear sister. The Lord Almighty will continue to be there for you in the name of Jesus. I must also thank um, our former former governor of Ogun State, who is also uh, seated here, Senator Ibikunle Amosun. We recognize you, and we have um, Mr. Aliko Dangote. Thank you very much for coming, and we appreciate your love for this family. Uh, we also want to appreciate our own Saoluoke for the roles you have played. Um, we appreciate you, and then we have uh, Mr. John Momo. We want to appreciate you. I know that there are people at the overflow in the hall. And by the permission of the diocese, we extend uh, appreciation to each and every one of us. There are people who don't even have a place to sit. We appreciate you all for coming. And I must say that we are very, very important in the presence of God. It is our prayers. And we pray that as we start this new month, we declare that in our lives, the grace of the Almighty God will speak for us continually in the name of Jesus. I have been able to help my brother Timmy. Just, I'm sure he wants to say a word by the permission of the Lord Bishop. Thank you everyone for coming this morning. Uh, the whole family is very appreciative of everyone's presence in this room. <clears throat> the task thrust upon me today is indeed one that my father, who despite his ability to always anticipate things and actions, never prepared me for. Nevertheless, I am buoyed by his spirit and therefore speak this evening on behalf of the Ogobanjo family in general and in particular for the Abimbala Ogobanjo and Kuku family. I wish to sincerely thank everyone from the bottom of my heart, all of you wonderful, wonderful, distinguished guests for taking time to be with us this day for this service of songs, a tribute. Honestly, in this very trying weeks, your prayers, your visits, your kind words, and overwhelming God will has been so comforting and supportive to my mother, my sister, myself, and the family as a whole. I wish to use this opportunity to thank the governor of Lagos State his Excellency Babajide Sanwolu. Thank you very much, sir. The Governor of Ogun State, His Excellency Dapua Bearden, sir, you have been with us from the very start of this, immediately, on the hearing of this tragic incident.
You have visited us on innumerable occasions. You have been a shoulder we have leaned on, and so to your wife, Her Excellency, Ms. Bamidele Abiodo. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts, sir. God bless you. I say a big thank you to the various groups and their members who found time to pay courtesy visits. The NGX, Shippers Council, NBA President, members of the Heritage Group, Lagos Motor Boater Club, Lagos Polo Club, the Met Club. We thank you all most profusely. My heartfelt appreciation goes to Pastor Tony Rappu, Pastor Itwa Godalu, and Reverend Dr. Queen Yajai. Thank you, sirs, and may the Almighty continue to enrich your ministries. The choir of all the house on the rock, I'm sure you will agree with me that they were fantastic today. Thank you so much. Our thanks goes to the officiating ministries, namely Pastor Abraham Martin, Reverend Dr. Mrs. Atunike Ajala Ogunride, Reverend Adekoke, Reverend Kolawale Odumoye, and Mom in the Lord reference, Fine, Adeparasi. My very, very special thanks goes to everyone in this room. I thank you all today. Thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. I uh, also want to appreciate uh, Father in God, the very Reverend Professor Connie Sola. Thank you very much for coming. By the permission of the Diocesan, I'd like to invite her forward for a brief remark. Uh, His Excellency, Mr. Dr. Thank you very much. First Lady Hogan State and my wife, Titi, Timmy, Ladun, Mosun, all of our siblings, and the cuckoos, and all of our family members, I and wife, friends and associates of Bimbola the officiating pastors, Professor Kony Ajayi, the vicar of this church, the diocesan bishop, Right Reverend Fidel Okubwevi, and the beautiful choir. Good morning. Our God is a God of different seasons, which we do not have control over. Only he knows the beginning from the end. Only he knows why he allowed these very painful and shocking tragedies. As far as our father is concerned, it isn't about how. As mere mortals, we're asking questions, but our God doesn't have to give us any answers. We didn't create ourselves. We didn't have a part to play as to when we were born. This is yet another painful reminder for us to number our days and that we're all travelers on this earth with preordained exit points, only known to him. Bimbola was intellectual. He was focused, he was intentional, he was very deliberate. It is being bothered that would arrange and plan things and make sure everything worked in a certain order. Bimbala was a good, loyal, dependable, reliable, consistent friend and brother to Ben. Was a loving father to Timmy and Ladum. 
was a doting husband to his adorable Titi, was an associate, mentor, and partner to others. Mimbola had an infectious, dimply smile. He was as debonair as he was quintessential in disposition and appearance. Bimbo was a good man, a jolly good fellow. From the outpouring of emotions, love, support, and condolences, he was loved and lived a life of impact without a doubt. He will be sorely missed. If tears could bring back the dead, Bimbo will be alive today. We're all grieving and mourning. They say, we grieve as much as we love. But the Bible teaches us to mourn and grieve, but not like people without hope. Brethren, if God calls you home today, what will be said of you? Have you lived a life of impact like Bimbola? I'm not standing here today just because I'm Bimbola's governor. But more because I'm his brother and friend. And I'm here speaking on behalf of my family, his other friends, brothers, and the good people and government of Ogun State. Bimbala's proud home. We commiserate with everyone. We pray the Almighty God forgive Bimbala's sins, grant the repose of his soul, and grant him eternal peace. Whilst Brandy is their wife, Titi, his children, Timmy and Ladum, his siblings using Mosun as a point of reference, they had to bear this irreplaceable loss. But to our genus, your own. Ah, Nuria Kufa. Dear Titi, your husband's soul lives on in all our hearts. The Lord says that he that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall live, and whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. As I told you, Titi, I learned in my own challenging time that bad things are not exclusively for bad people. Good and bad things happen to good people. The Almighty God will be your husband, you'll be your friend, you'll be your companion, you'll be your partner, you'll be father to your children in Jesus' mighty name. Good night, people. Thank you very much, Mr. Lessing. We appreciate you. We want to thank you very much and on behalf of the Dalsisa, I'd also like to recognize Tumba Gwinga Daniel. I want to appreciate you for coming. Let me thank uh, the choir, the media. I want to thank the Guido Stewart. And let me thank uh, the awarding, Mr. George Etomi, a very good son of Chris Ogumanjo. I want to thank you for the role you also played. Uh, please, I want to appeal that as we recess, um, you allow and give a preference to the family, immediate family members to move out of the church before the rest of us uh, join them. Uh, please let us accord them this respect. I want to thank the estate um, management. The gate leading to Banana Island is also opened. We have the two other gates, Onikui and the main gate. So as we move out of the estate, we have this privilege of using the three gates and we have security personnel who will be there to direct us. The Lord be with each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Thank you.
Chop your money. <laughs> chop your money. You just get any guy to put in here. Chop your money. Chop your pocket money.
This is Channels Television, your home for the news. And you've been on to our live coverage of the funeral service for the late chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group, Mr. Abimbola Ubanjo, who died on February the 9th in a helicopter crash near Nipton, California. This signals the end of the broadcast as we now continue with the rest of our programming for the day. Stay on with us.